Risley, Ristley, Rio the Slay, Worcestershire Sauce, or my personal favorite, Risley. Whatever you want to call this guy, it is pretty clear that he is quite the topic right now. Many people are asking right now, is he good? Is he fun? And most importantly, is he worth the pull? I'm going to give my thoughts on the matter based on the Risley experience. So without further ado, let's get into it. After Linny's banner was over, I decided that I wanted to save up all of my Primo gems and just dump them into Risley's banner. Or at least that was the initial plan. I truly don't care about how good or meta a character is, I only pull for them if I like their design and gameplay. But then Nouvellet came out and I liked his design and gameplay, so I thought it wouldn't hurt too much to wish a few times for him. When I started wishing I was about like 50 pity in, and I watched as all of my hard work just vanished before my eyes. But obviously this video is not about Nouvellet. So how did we get Risley in the first place? That's how. I'm used to losing my 50-50s, but since I also lost Linny's 50-50 to her, it kind of stung a little bit. Luckily this update came out with a new area for me to explore, and it was also during the third anniversary event, so I got 20 extra wishes on top of all the exploration gems. I figured that losing my 50-50 was just a sign from the universe to stop pulling and save my guarantee for Risley because I did really want him initially. So I started pre-farming for him, and I am very thankful that I had Linny to show me where all the regional specialties are, because these bugs were very tiny and hard for me to see. And after gathering all of the bugs that I could find, I started fighting his boss. And of course I used the best boy as my main DPS. I fought this thing so many times because it kept only giving me two of the boss materials. I actually really like this boss just because it makes you jump really high. I also took some time to start the Archon quest because I knew he was going to show up in it and I really wanted to see him. I'm very glad that I'm not actually in this situation right now because I have the worst RNG ever and I would get the nastiest food every single day. Instead of actually finishing the Archon quest, I just sat here and looked at him for a little bit. I tried my best to use my resin really efficiently every day. If his talent books were available, I would spend all of my resin in that domain. And if they weren't, I would fight his boss until I had enough materials. I really just wanted to be able to crown his normal attack at the very least. And of course get his other talents up to a reasonable level. One of the big reasons I actually wanted to pull for him, besides the fact that I liked his design, was the fact that one of my other mains is a normal attacking Catalyst character, so I knew that I was going to like his playstyle before he even came out. But I definitely don't think that that kind of playstyle is going to be for everyone. After I got enough talent and boss materials, I figured that it was just about time to move on to a more painful domain to grind. And that, of course, would be the artifact domain. I didn't have a four piece of the new set, and honestly, I don't even think I had a single good piece of this set. I told myself I would get it for Linny like forever ago, and I never did, so I'm going to try and get it for Risley. Gotta love using your condensed resin just to get the wrong set. And they're not even good pieces either. And when you actually do get the right set, the pieces are extremely mid. This domain is so painful, but I was very determined and kept running this domain because I really wanted to have a good artifact set for him. Because I don't really have a good Blizzard Strayer set, I figured that this would probably be the best option for me. I honestly like never use cryo characters, so I literally had nothing prepared for him. And I don't even have Shenha, so hopefully he performs well without her. I'm so excited to see what artifact. I got. Okay, surely this time I'll get something that's usable. Third time's the charm, right? Wrong. I'm begging this game to give me a good artifact for once. Oh my god. Artifact grinding is so fun. I felt like I was completely losing my sanity at this point. But then I remembered that I farmed Gilded Dreams for like five months straight and I still don't have a good set. 
And to add insult to injury, when I finally got a good gilded piece, it rolled all into HP. So needless to say, I haven't gone in that domain since then. Just one good artifact, please. I don't know how I managed to get a second Electro Goblet right after I got the last one. I think this hurt the most because it's a Cryo Goblet, but it's so bad. Okay, this, this isn't even funny anymore. But after all that pain, it finally happened. I just really need this piece to roll well. So I'm gonna roll it right now, and I'm going to pray. Okay, well, flat attack isn't the best substat to have, but hopefully it'll just keep rolling well. Oh. Okay. Please don't do that again. Okay, good. Alright, this is the moment of truth. Why? Well, it's still usable for now. I feel like I was very lucky because I ended up getting this artifact, and even though it has two HP rolls, we can work with it. Alright, let's do this. Okay, good start. I knew that it was right to have faith in this artifact. Imagine if it went into crit damage one more time. I kind of wish he scaled on HP right about now. Time had gone by so fast, and before I knew it, it was time to actually pull for him. I hope he doesn't mind that I sit in his chair while I do it. It is time to wish for Risley. I am so nervous, even though I have a guarantee. Okay, well I have... Let me check. This is my pity. So, imagine he just comes home in the first 10 pull though, wouldn't that be so swell? Imagine he comes home in the first 10 pull. Yeah, that was not gonna happen. Ooh, Toma. I actually need Toma constellations. Okay, imagine he comes home in the second 10 pull, that'd be crazy. <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way! Hello? Um, now what do I do? <laughs> now what do I do? Alright, I guess... I guess I'm just gonna go for more... For a constellation. I wasn't expecting that! I wasn't- I wasn't expecting that to actually happen! Okay, well, let's see... If we can get... Another one! Oh my god, this is like the great Chongyun incident. Where I pulled Chongyun like a million times on the first Zhongli banner. Okay. What? <laughs> oh my god. Is it gonna be Chongyun? No, it's not even gonna be a character. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> I've had him C6 since the. <laughs> Since the first Zhongli banner, I've had him C6, and I just kept pulling him over and over again. Okay. Oh my god. I want Toma! I, don't, I only have like C2 Toma. I'm gonna have to do another temple. This is the one. This is the one. Nope. I lied. I had fi- Ew! <laughs> Let's see if we can get C1. No? Toma? Yes! Toma! Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can get- Okay, five star. Okay. Um... Manifesting... That- okay. Oh! And out of all of that, I only got one Toma constellation. And I guess I have C2 Chi Chi now. Yay. God, I love his animation so much too. I was very happy with having him, but I realized that I really wanted his C1. So instead of saving my guarantee, I decided to just go all in. I'm gonna say it was worth it because I wanted Toma Constellations. Ew. I already have a million of these. Hey, another Toma. 
Ew. Be in this pool. No, Toma? Yes, oh my god, wait. <gasps> I got C6 Toma. No way. It's about time. Okay. Give me a double, bro. Give me a double. Give me a double. Uh, okay. Okay. Give me one more. Come on, please. Just give me one more. I'm begging you. Oh, well. <laughs> I forgot to show myself activating the constellation. The default wings actually look so good with him. It is time to test him in combat at level 1. Amazing. I was just excited to use him. I didn't even put a book or any artifacts on him. He's still 8 though. Never mind. Okay, I think it's only fair to put an actual weapon on him. I'm just gonna borrow this for now. We will do the true level 1 test and take him into the ride and fight. I accidentally pressed his E, so I figured I would improvise and just use his burst instead of his skill, and uh... I mean, it wasn't too bad. And then this happened. I won't lie, it was pretty funny. Also, he is the king of ice bridging now. I'm sorry, Kaya. So to test him out again, I took him into the artifact domain, still at level 1, just to see. And I was actually having a lot of fun with him, so I figured after this, I would definitely get him to 90. I see this game still doesn't like me very much. Yep, it still checks out. I don't know what it is about fighting as a level 1 character, but I find it kind of fun. And I think he was doing pretty good. If anyone asks the question if he's fun to play, the answer is yes, if you like normal attacking characters. Also, if you don't mind being a melee catalyst character. And if you don't mind farming this set, which is painful. Okay, I think it's finally time to level this guy up. I'm pretty sure that I have more than enough resources to do it too, because I had been pre-farming since I lost my 50-50 to Nouvellet. I spent every single day and every ounce of resin into making sure that I could get this guy fully ascended on the first day. I almost had enough to just get him fully ascended without even having to convert stuff, but once I reached that point, I figured that it was time to start working on his talents. Because I didn't want to accidentally convert too many of them. And as you can see here, I had a pretty good amount of talent books waiting for him. So yeah, I'm gonna speed this up just so I can get to the next part, but I did get them all to level 6 before having to convert anything. And I figured I had a decent amount that I was able to convert as well. And I was right about that, so it felt very satisfying to fully ascend him on the first day. And I got him to level 92, even though I know you don't need to do that, but I really like him, so I want it to. I didn't exactly have a proper build, but I would say this is a pretty good starting point. I swapped to Lost Prayers, and I didn't have his full 4-piece set at this point. But yeah, I would I would not use Lost Prayers with this 4-piece set. I think I'm just going to use Wood Sith. I want his weapon, but I also want other characters, so sacrifices are going to be made. He is 100% my favorite cryo DPS we have so far. That was another reason I wanted him, because I don't really enjoy playing any of the other cryo DPS characters, so I found him worth it. But if you're on the fence on whether or not you should pull him, I feel like if you already have a well-built cryo DPS, you probably don't really need him. I personally never really built cryo characters before him. So for me, it was a win-win. I like his design, I like his playstyle, and he fills a niche that I didn't really have on my account. I think his C1's actually really good, especially for low spenders, but I feel like people who don't spend on this game should probably just save for the Hydro Archon instead of going for his C1. And I feel like if people are torn between getting his C1 or his weapon, I would personally just go for his C1, but this is my not-so-professional Genshin opinion, so you do not have to listen to me. But bro is majestic when he leaps out of the water. This is my favorite thing about the Fontaine characters. So I just kept farming the Clockwork Mecha stuff because I wanted to get his skill and his normal attack to level 9. And I did that. I am very thankful that there's just so many of them chilling in Fontaine. It makes farming so much easier. I love the feeling of just normally doing my commissions and then getting a random achievement out of nowhere. Like. I'll take it. Also, he hit the funny number. 
And when I was playing with my friend, I was only using Bennett as the support, and he was hitting pretty good numbers. And after fighting some more monsters, I decided I wanted to crown him. I honestly really like using the Widsith on him, because even though it is RNG, you can end up hitting really big numbers with it. I think Lost Prayer is really good if you don't use his 4-piece set, and I think that Wanderer's weapon is really good in general for him. Oh my god, my RNG. I went back to go fight Raiden and this happened to me. As a Kazuha main, my favorite thing in this fight is doing this. I wanted to see how he would perform without having any food buffs. I would say that he did pretty well. This was my first time actually trying to test his damage, besides when he was level 1. And I kinda just kept doing this fight over and over again. I did this so many times, I tried different weapons, different artifact sets, and I even tried using Diona, and this was my best run that I had for him yet. I really wish I had Shenha right now, but I don't, so... You gotta work with what you have. And I honestly was having so much fun playing him. So because of that, I decided I wanted to crown him a second time. Okay, for the last part of this video, I wanted to try taking him into the Spiral Abyss. I only did a one and done because I don't really like Abyss very much, but I do it every reset because I really want the Fremo gems. This was definitely not the fastest or smoothest Abyss run I've ever done, but it was all just for testing sake. I definitely made a ton of mistakes. I mean, when I came into the Abyss, I had the wrong weapon on Bennett at first, and I also had the wrong weapon on Faruzan on my second team. Also, I am really hoping that we can get a Shenha rerun soon because I am very sad that I don't have her. Also, this video is not what I typically make. I work on a No Wishing Until AR50 series every week, but I took the week off so I could work on this video for Risley because I really wanted to try something new. And I'm sorry if you were looking forward to a no wishing video this week, but I plan on making one for next week, unless something comes up of course. But it is kind of nice to be able to make a video using my main account for once. Since I'm AR60, I don't really have a whole lot of ideas of content I can make besides new characters coming out. And I'm also not the kind of person that pulls for every single character. I actually skip a lot of banners. I skipped every Sumeru banner until the Wanderer banner so I could get constellations for him. And then I skipped all of the reruns except for Alhatham's banner so I could get Kazuha constellations. A lot of people ask me how I can have a no-wishing account and not go insane, and the answer is because I save a lot on my main, so I'm used to it. Also, going back to this Abyss run, I feel like I was making a lot of mistakes, and I get really stressed out when there's a timer. I think that's another part of why I don't really do Abyss outside of clearing it the first time, but I didn't want to wait all the way until it reset to use Risley in it. But I honestly think when it does reset, I do want to use him. I don't know what it was about this chamber, but I just messed up quite a few times. But it's okay, because we all make mistakes sometimes. I also feel like the more I got to play him, the more comfortable I felt using him. So I think Abyss was actually a pretty good test on how well he was going to perform. All in all, I think that Risley is a very good character. I think he's fun, and I think he's strong. And I think he's actually pretty flexible with team comps. Even though I do wish that I had Nouvellette on my account, I am very glad that I saved my guarantee for Risley. And I'm also really glad that I went for his C1 as well. It is a little sad not having his weapon, but maybe I'll get it on his rerun. I want to save for the Hydra Archon now though. And after all that hard work, I was able to 36 star the Abyss using Risley. And that was my journey from before I got Risley to now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you do pull for Risley, I wish you the best of luck. My No Wishing series will continue next week, so I hope to see you then. Take care and stay safe. Bye for now.